For years, I've been tangled up in a bizarre game of cat and mouse with a woman named Katherine Shelton. Controversy has swirled around me for 25 years. She's a really, really smart woman. She had a touch of genius and a touch of evil. Well, I wish I had always been the perfect lady, but I don't know. It just didn't work out that way. Men just seemed to drop dead all around her. That's a lot of coincidences. I'm almost there. I'm not Luca Brasi from The Godfather, and I don't go around shooting people. My name is Jenna Jackson, and I'm a Texas girl. and a true crime journalist. Back in 2003, I covered the Shelton story for 48 hours. You remember her? Yeah, I'm afraid I do. She tried to kill me. Catherine denies that, and I was hooked. Wow. There was a doctor, an ex-boyfriend, beaten to death in his garage. That was the garage. I think the homicide detectives looked like it was something pretty personal. Personal. She says she had nothing to do with it. If you had to have a number one prime suspect, it's, it's Catherine. A man named with Catherine in a lawsuit was found with a bullet in his head. Authorities said he was playing Russian roulette. And the whole Russian roulette thing just doesn't make playing sense. Playing Russian roulette by yourself. Right. I wouldn't buy that. If you knew the guy, you would, I wouldn't buy it. I'm not a, a vengeful person. She was a lot of fun uh, when she wasn't trying to kill me. This ex-boyfriend says he's lucky to be alive. I opened the door, and as I slowed down, yeah, that bitch shot me. She really, she shot me. There was a former client. This is where the case kind of goes from bad to weird, so. He turned up in Catherine's house, dead and naked. His death ruled an accident. I lead a dull life. The list goes on and on. Probably some people say it's that Catherine, she's done it again. A husband and wife shot up in an ambush. And she screamed, shoot her, shoot her again. I know it was her. Catherine Shelton. Not me. I wasn't there. Her husband, Clint, is currently serving a life sentence for that crime. Back up. Shelton, you have anything to say? Was your wife involved in any way, sir? She has never been charged with murder. I, I've never killed anybody. And did I mention she was once a criminal defense attorney? She knows all of this forensic stuff. Seems to me Catherine enjoys all the intrigue and attention. And then she um, proceeds to snip a lock of her hair and hand it to me and say, I think you're probably going to need this at some point. <laughs> no way. What? For a DNA sample. That's a little cocky to me. After nearly 20 years of pursuing Catherine, she finally agreed to talk with me again, even though she once said, She's like, I just wanted to let you know I seriously considered killing you, but I decided not to. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I may throw up. Don't get that on camera. Am I crazy to do this? I have to admit, I'm really not sure what to think of Catherine and why she would even agree to talk to me. Maybe, just maybe, she feels guilty about something? Y you may have done some outlandish things to her. Well, there's up. a little more than I've been telling, of course, but...